In this section, we're gonna give you a good overview of local SEO. I'm going to explain exactly why local SEO is important, especially for local businesses. I'm going to show you the differences between the Google Map Pack versus the organic results. So these are two types of listings you have uh, on page one. I'll explain the difference between both of them. I'm gonna go over the two main elements that make up a local campaign. So let's dive straight into it. So what is local SEO? Local SEO is the process of optimizing a website to increase its visibility for a local audience. Keyword being local audience. A website gives you the opportunity to target the entire world, but if the target audience for your business is located in or near your city, then you want to focus on local SEO. In short, you need to optimize so people know where you are located and are able to find you offline if required. So why is local SEO important? If your business provides, let's say, carpet installation in London, but your website does not show up for a search of carpet installation London, then you have a serious problem. People don't pick up the yellow pages these days. All searches are carried out online. The future is digital. You need an online presence. Failure to rank for the service you offer in the city you're based only results in missing out on tons of potential customers as no one can find your website. Your competition with a better optimized site stealing the work right from under your eyes as they essentially will be higher up on Google and more visible than you. And you have a zero chance to build brand awareness as people won't even see your website. As a result, they won't see your brand. So it's super, super important. We understand local SEO and it's super important we optimize for local SEO to ensure we are visible and people can find us. Google's map pack versus organic results. You've probably gone over to Google in the past yourself and typed in a local keyword. So a local keyword is typically a service followed by a location such as carpet installation Richmond, Virginia or even carpet installation London. Once you've typed in a local search, Google will then return three different types of results to you. You have the ads at the top, which you can see it says ad there, ad there. So these are people paying Google as part of the Google ad scheme. So essentially every time you click this ad at the top or ad at the bottom, this company will pay a fee to Google. Below the ads, you have what we call the map pack section. It's often referred to as the snap pack as well. So essentially what this is, Google is returning businesses to you based on your proximity. So if you are in the city of Richmond and you just type in carpet insulation for Richmond, Virginia, Google will return businesses to you which are based in Richmond, Virginia too. So as you'll see, this is actually a desktop search. You'll see it says a uh, website there and directions. If you did the same search on a mobile, this website will be switched out for a phone icon and it will say call. So it's a massive opportunity to generate lots of phone calls to your business if you appear in the map pack. Below the map pack, you just have the organic listing. So essentially, these are businesses which appear on page one organically. So if you used to click any of these results uh, in the map pack or uh, in the organic listings, you won't pay Google a penny as you are there organically. So I'll show you how to optimize for both uh, throughout the training course in this video. It's very, very important you appear in the map pack and the organic results. The two elements that make up a local SEO campaign. Every local SEO campaign, or I should say every good local SEO campaign, will consist of two elements, on-page SEO and off-page SEO. So on-page SEO refers to any change you make on your website to improve its visibility and off-page SEO refers to any change you make off your website to improve its visibility. So on-page SEO, for example, you could update your title tag, you could change a H1 tag on your page, you could edit the meta description of your page. These are all actions you make on your website and as a result, they are classified as on-page optimizations. Off-page SEO. So some examples of off-page SEO optimizations you can make are building a link to your website, get your business listed on an external directory, optimizing your social profiles. These are all actions you implement off your website. So as a result, they are classified as off-page optimizations. So it's really important you have a good grasp of both on-page and off-page. So on-page is essentially the foundation of what you build upon and off-page is what you do to push it up higher in Google. 